The finished width for our legs is one and a half inches. However, to set up our legs for gluing, we're going to be cutting them to an oversized width of one and seven eighths inches. This will give us more than enough material to work with after our legs have been glued up. I'm first going to clean up the best edge on the joiner by running it through one or two times. Then we're going to set the table saw to one and seven eighths inches. With our good jointed edge up against the fence, we're going to make our first cut at one and seven eighths inches. Now at this point we have a good clean edge on one side of our leg piece and we have a mill marked edge on the other side of our leg piece. Additionally we have a mill marked edge on our remaining piece. Normally we would take our remaining piece back to the joiner to clean up that mill marked edge before running it through the table saw again. However, because we are gluing up the legs and we'll then run them through the planer and joiner after we've glued up the legs, it's not necessary to remove those mill marks at this stage. So we're going to continue running our remaining piece through the table saw set at one and seven eighths inches until we get as many pieces as we can out of this remaining piece. Even though there is a mill marked edge along the one side that we are running up against the fence, again, that's okay because we will be cleaning that up later down the road. After that, I am left with eight pieces that are 18 and 3 fourths inches long, which is our oversized length, and 1 and 7 eighths inches wide, which is also our oversized measurement for our width.